Hello guys, this is Only Abi Doang and today I'm going to show you 10 features that you might not know in The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. Yes, I know, the pack has been released for around a month now, but I finally got the time to play around with it just recently, so there's that. Anyway, these features that I'm going to show might be interesting, helpful, or even mind-blowing to you. Without further ado, let's get to know them. If you accumulate trash in the trash bin or the new dumpster for too long, flies may appear flying around them. Normally, you cannot do anything with it. However, if you have the new Reduce and Recycle Lot trait, you'll be able to do several new interactions. Two of them are Try to Clear Flies and Bond with Flies. Both of these interactions will have several different outcomes each. A lot of the times, your steam will fail when trying to clear or bond with the flies, resulting in them swarming you for a moment. You'll then gain the Swatted Angry Moodlet, but there's a chance you'll succeed as well. Whichever the outcome, the flies will disappear in the end. If you succeed on clearing the flies, you'll gain an energized moodlet. And if you succeed on bonding with the flies, they will make you levitate for a second and give you this grub meal food ingredient. Also, sims with low hygiene and or sims with the slop trait have better chance to succeed in bonding with the flies. However, there's an extremely rare chance that when you try to clear or bond with the flies, the outcome will be fatal. If that happens, your sims head and body will then be swarmed by the flies, killing them instantly. The ghost of a sim who died by flies will have several flies flying around them and also swarming inside their body. Occasionally, the ghost will try to swat them. One cool feature with this ghost is that they will never fail when trying to clear or bond with the flies. There's a new career in this pack called Civil Designer. Once you've reached level 4 of the career, you get to choose between two branches, Green Technician and Civic Planner. If you reach level 5 of the Green Technician branch, you'll unlock the ability to grow quote-unquote cruelty-free meat. And yeah, it sounds as weird as it seems. To start growing this so-called meat, you need to buy this planter called AOK -OK Bloomer Vertical Garden. Yep, they really did a reference to the OK Boomer meme there. With this, you can plant plants vertically to save space. But now, you can also plant the cruelty-free meat. The garden will then be switched into this meat, uh, plant wall thing. To take care of it, it needs watering and spraying when there are bugs around, just like normal plants. Additionally, you can also massage it. Doing this will both improve its quality and train your fitness skill. You can also name the meat to your heart's content if you want. When it's ready to harvest, it will grow much taller. Like plants, you'll have the option to sell it directly or harvest it. If harvested, you'll gain this cube-shaped meat called faux meat. You can eat it directly if you want, but it mainly functions as a cooking ingredient. It's considered both as a fruit, a vegetable, and some food that uses meat can use this as an ingredient as well. But even though you can cook a meaty meal with this cruelty-free meat, vegetarian sims will still prefer not to eat them. Heck, vegetarians will also feel uncomfortable when being around the meat wall. If you rarely take care of this plant, it'll become withered, but you can still harvest them. Doing so will give you a jerky faux meat worth only one simoleon. You can still eat it or use it as a fruit and veggies ingredient replacement. One unique detail with this is when your sim has level 10 cooking skill, they will harvest the meat by cutting it with a knife. If you have both this pack and season expansion pack, when it's raining on neighborhoods leaning more into industrial eco footprint, basically meaning highly polluted area, it will be replaced into an acid rain instead. You can distinguish an acid rain with a regular rain by their rain particles. Acid rain particles have a greenish hue as opposed to normal rain particles. One of the differences with acid rain is that if you try to shower in the acid rain, it'll decrease your hygiene need instead of increasing it. Sims always react disgustingly when there's an acid rain, while sims have various reactions in a regular rain but mostly neutral or happy. Instead of a regular mud puddle, this greenish acid mud puddle will appear instead. You can try playing on it or even have an acid mud fight, but doing so will always result in an uncomfortable mood lead. There's also a chance sims will get nauseous after playing around an acid mud puddle. As stated before, dumpster is a new waste container in this pack. If there's a trash in it, various interactions can be performed to find free goodies inside. One of them is Die for Deals. You can find a small amount of money, bits and pieces, which are the new currency that can mainly be obtained from recycling, collectibles, electronics, furnitures, and more. Most of the time, the objects you obtain are in bad conditions like burned or broken, so you need to do something about it before it's usable. Anyway, while dumpster diving for deals, you might get these exclusive objects that can only be found from the dumpster. Each of these objects come in different variations. You cannot buy them through buy mode unless you use cheats. These objects include small dining tables, dining chairs, rough looking double beds, 
small vintage televisions, and bicycles. Yep, apparently bicycles aren't exclusive to Discover University expansion pack anymore. If you've played Sims for a long time, the chair, table, and TV may look familiar to you. It's because these objects are an homage to the chair, table, and TV originally introduced back in The Sims 1. If you've reached level 10 of the mixology skill, you'll notice that there's a new drink recipe that you can make called beetle juice, with a beetle nugget as its ingredient. Beetle nuggets can be found by farming beetles on the new insect farm object, also introduced in this pack. If you take care of their needs, you'll be able to harvest beetle nuggets. Once you have at least one beetle nugget, you can make this drink. When you try drinking it for the first time, nothing significant will happen. However, if you drink another glass of beetle juice the second time, you'll get this dazed moodlet for 3 hours. And if you try drinking one more glass of beetle juice while still having this moodlet, you'll be transformed into a ghost permanently. You'll also gain your own ghost trait called Death by Beetles. And after drinking that third drink, you'll get this playful moodlet with the description, I'm the ghost with the most. All of these are a reference to the horror comedy movie, Beetle Juice. There's a new service NPC that you can hire called the Eco Inspector for 225 simoleons. When hired, they will come to your lot and then start measuring your eco footprint level. After that, they will use this vacuum machine on your lot. This decreases your area's eco footprint level to be greener. After they leave, there's a cooldown for a few days before you can hire them again. Besides that, when they're around, you can also bribe them to pollute the world instead. There's a chance they will reject your bribe, but if they accept, they will use the same machine to pollute the environment, making it more industrial. You might be curious about the machine the Eco Inspector used. What if I told you that you can have it for yourself? To obtain this machine, you need to join the Civil Designer career. If you reach level 2, you can get this special tablet that allows you to create blueprint drafts. Blueprint drafts need to be made and submitted to increase your work performance. The quality of your blueprint depends on your logic skill. If you have high logic skill, you will create better blueprints. You can try to improve it by presenting it to other sims and then modify it based on their feedback. But you can only do this once per blueprint. After making one, you can submit it through the mailbox. And after a day later, you'll get a notification stating whether your blueprints get accepted or not. An accepted blueprint will also have a chance to unlock new fabricator recipes. And one of the recipes that you can unlock is the smoke vacuum. Now you just need to use this new fabricator machine that allows you to create new objects by using the bits and pieces currency. After making the smoke vacuum, you can use it straight from your inventory. The first interaction is vacuum smoke. If done on a polluted world, it will suck out the pollution and reduce its industrial footprint. However, you need to empty the vacuum as well. You can either dump all the smoke that you've stuck to a trash bin or dumpster, or expel it back into the environment, making the area more polluted. Besides that, you can also use the machine to restore a burned object with the cost of some piece currencies. As mentioned before, the spec introduces a fabrication machine tied into the new fabrication skill. With the fabricator, you can create various objects, furnitures, and more just by using bits and pieces currency. The higher your skill, the more fabricator recipes you can get. But did you know that there are secret recipes that cannot be obtained just from improving the skill? Yeah, there are several of them. First of all, there are 4 new recipes that you can get by doing the new Induce About Fabrication social interaction. If you do this to a sim, sometimes you don't get some inspiration. But there's a chance the sim may suggest use some stuff to fabricate resulting in a new fabrication recipe to be unlocked. Besides this social interaction, you can also unlock these 4 new recipes if you are visited by a master maker NPC. They will give you some new recipes you can use for the fabricator. These 4 new recipes are desks, couches, wall lamps, and electronic upgrade parts if you want to upgrade stuff. Besides these 4 recipes, there are also several secret recipes that you can unlock if you join the civil designer career. By creating and submitting blueprints that I've mentioned before, you can unlock 3 new recipes, which are this floral rug, the hydroponic planter where plants that are grown here don't need to be watered, and the smog vacuum that I've already covered previously. Also, if you reach level 6 of the green technician branch of the career, you can unlock food recipes like garden salad, granola, veggie dumplings, and protein plate in the fabricator. One more new recipe that you can unlock is by reaching level 3 of the mischief skill, in which you can unlock a voodoo doll recipe for the fabricator. In this new pack, some objects gain new upgrades. 
These upgrades can be done by either increasing your handiness and use regular upgrade parts like how you normally upgrade stuff, or by using the new eco upgrade parts. You can obtain these eco upgrade parts by making them from the fabricator or finding them in the dumpster. One of the perks of using eco upgrade parts is that you don't need to have the required handiness skill level in order to upgrade these objects. These new upgrades are, first, composting container. This can be used only on toilets and if applied, it'll use less water utility and produce flammable compost if used. Yes, flammable compost. You can even see a small fire spewing out of a toilet when you use it sometimes. Anyway, the compost will be usable if you have an insect farm. If you use the toilet several times, an option to compose it will be unlocked. Composting will give you some bits and pieces you can use. But if you don't have any insect farm available or don't collect the compost for too long, well, you'll end up like Emily here. Second, water recycler. This can be used on plumbing objects like showers, bathtubs, sinks, toilets, etc. Applying this upgrade will decrease the water utility usage when used, thereby decreasing the water bill. Third, atomized mist. This upgrade can be applied only on showers and in order to unlock this upgrade, you need to reach level 3 of the civil designer career. Also, this upgrade can only be upgraded by using eco parts. This upgrade will significantly reduce your water utility usage. I'm not really sure what's the difference between this and water recycler upgrade, but I think the effect of both will stack. Fourth, H2O Siphoner. This upgrade can be used on plumbing objects. If applied, instead of relying from the water utility, the object can produce water by using fuel. The fuel can be in the form of bits gained from recycling or insect biofuel gained from insect farming. Fifth, Fuel Cell. This upgrade can be used on electronic objects like television, stove, refrigerator, etc. Similar to the H2O Siphoner upgrade before, instead of relying from power utility, the object can produce electricity by using fuel. Sixth, Energy Efficient Drive. This upgrade can be used on electronic objects. Applying this will decrease its power utility usage, thereby decreasing the electrical bill. In this pack, there are new random phone calls added, but these are not just ordinary phone calls, but phone calls with special dialogues, responses, and some of them affects the gameplay directly depending on your decisions. Unfortunately, I cannot find all of the phone calls in my game, so I'm just gonna show several screenshots of different types of phone calls that I found from the internet. The types of phone calls include inheritance from a long lost family member, challenges offer that you can take, someone asking for your advice in things like having a baby or proposing someone, someone borrowing money from you as an investment so you can get the chance to be given more money later, and many more. You can also get prank calls from strangers. These prank calls might be familiar to some of you. It's because some of them were the same creepy prank calls from The Sims 1. In my opinion, this really adds in more depth into your relationship with other sims, but I still find it weird that this feature is included exclusively in this expansion pack and not in a free base game update. Most of these calls don't even have any correlations to the eco lifestyle. Anyway, these calls are apparently called community closeness in the code. According to the game files, here are all the types of the phone calls that you can get. And those are 10 features you might not know in the Sims 4 eco lifestyle expansion pack. I hope you can find them helpful and informative. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you liked it, and if you want more Sims videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. See you later!